Hello everyone. Before this video starts, I would like to say that my game, Towers of Essence, the tower defense devlog which I've been working on for the past few weeks to months, is finally released. And if you want to see some gameplay, carry on watching. If you want me to go into a little bit of what I've done over the past few weeks, carry on watching. But if you want to go play the game, please go play it now. It's on itch.io and the link will be down below. I really hope you enjoy and thanks for watching. Hi everyone, so this video is split into three parts. The first part of what you just saw was the introduction telling you to go play my game, which you should go do. Go download it and play it. The second part of the video is just me talking about what I've done over the past few weeks. Very briefly, because I didn't record it, because I was just working on and off. And in the final bit, we'll just be showing off some gameplay. So you might be wondering then, what have I been working on? So, last time we ended, I added animations to the game. And after that, I was basically done, and I was like, not really sure where to go with the game. Because I kind of knew I wasn't going to make it a full game and release it on Steam like I originally planned, a lot of the stuff I wanted to do didn't really make sense anymore because I had a better project. <laughs> I'll be getting on to that in a few weeks, but there is a better project coming soon, a new devlog series, and this game will hopefully be released on Steam and be my first Steam release. And I'm not working alone for it. After the animations, I was thinking, so what should I do? And I came across the idea of making it more a technical demo slash just a little teaser which I'll release on itch, and if people really enjoy it, I can always go back and add more. So that's what I decided, and rather than doing like loads of levels and different worlds and all that, I decided, well, it's a wave game, so why not I just make it a few waves? So it's about three waves long, and then you get the boss wave, so it's four waves in total. And that's how the game was going in this fashion. That's so what I added after that. I had to fix some of the models in the game, because I had to re-import them. I added options to the game, so you can turn off post-processing, you can turn off particles, you can change the game sound, you can change the music, everything. I've never done an option venue like this in depth before, so I was really happy with it. I also had to polish the camera movement, because that movement was really annoying me, it just didn't feel natural, and if you rotate the camera, the movement controls wouldn't rotate with it, so I fixed that as well, which is much better now. And the camera movement just feels much nicer. I added a loading screen. Something I've never done before was a loading screen. So when you click on the start menu, you're going to a quick loading screen and the game will load in. The only reason I added it in was because without it, I noticed that there was a little bit of a delay before you start playing and the start screen would just freeze. I wasn't a fan of that. So we have a loading screen. It's just a simple screen, but it's very nice and I've never done one before. Like I mentioned, we have the option to disable post-processing. Again, really simple to do, a lot of fun. I also wanted to add a way to automatically decorate the world for me because I wasn't going to be placing hundreds of trees. So I made a really simple script on one of the grass blocks which basically says place these prefabs, if any of them overlap it will delete them and it gives you a maximum bound of where it can be placed so that way it can be placed around the block rather than in one spot and how many trees to place. And I just made a few different tree prefabs, different materials for the leaves and that worked really well. You'll see it in the game and it's procedural. So that means every time you play you'll get a different layout of trees. Not that that does anything, but it can look quite nice to be honest. I really like how the trees look in the end. They're really simple models, but they looked very nice. Last thing I wanted to add was well, a way to speed up the game, because I noticed how it was quite slow. And I added it. But then that caused loads of issues as well. And I did keep it in for a while, and I really tried to fix it. Because the issue was, whenever you sped up and would move the camera on, sometimes the enemies would just get stuck. I have no idea why, they would just get stuck. And then I put in like a little safety net for enemies, so if they get stuck on a block for too long, they will just automatically no to go to the next one, it's because they're not really getting to the block they're currently on, so the script doesn't know, oh, they need to get to the next one, so I just forced them to go, oh, yeah, you go to the next one. But if they've got no more blocks to go to and they're stuck, they will just self-destruct, because I can't help them, and the game will crash. But in the end, the speeding up just didn't work, and the enemies kept getting stuck, and it was really annoying to watch. So it is a bit annoying how slow the enemies are, but for now I think it's fine. I also added in a new enemy type, it was called the Boombox enemy, and I had this great plan that because he's a boombox enemy, all the targets would prioritise him. However, <laughs> that broke the game completely. The towers would just stop targeting other enemies if one of them came into the scene. It just wouldn't do it. Like, the minute it targeted the boombox, it would stop targeting any of enemies at all. That broke it completely. So I've kept the enemy in there, but I've just got rid of that special feature, which I'm really annoyed about. I really wanted it in, but the number of issues it caused was like, it caused around like four to five issues. And I was like, just for one little feature, I don't need it. And the rest of the time, I just spent really polishing and fixing bugs. A lot of the bugs that I had have been fixed. I don't think there are any like major ones anymore. I hope. Tell me if tell me if there are. I'll try and fix them. And then I just worked on creating the first level. I came up with a name for the game. It's called Towers of Essence. 
I had no idea what to call it, but I didn't mind that idea. And I just spruced up some of the UI, telling you how many waves are on, how many towers are in the game, etc. How much each tower costs, stuff like that, just so it's a little bit friendlier to the player. And I put some controls in the bottom right corner so you can see them. And that was basically everything I worked on over the past few weeks. It doesn't sound like a lot when I say out loud, but it was a fair bit to do. Now, it's on itch.io, which I might have mentioned before. I definitely mentioned it before. You can go play the game there. Tell me what you think, please. Share it out. There is a donation thing, but you don't have to donate. I just put it on there because I've spent quite a while on this game. So I thought if anyone's feeling generous, they might want to donate if they like the game. But do please do not feel like you have to. I do not need it. I just really want people to play the game and have fun. On the itch.io page, you'll see a bit more of a breakdown of what the game is and what I wanted to add and what could be coming to the game if more people, if people want it. But that's all from me. Thank you everyone for watching. What you're going to see now is just a quick bit of gameplay from the actual game itself, which is really cool. I haven't had a full game finished for a while. Please tell me what you think. If you play the game, comment down below and let me know. And yeah, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe and share it out. Share the game, have fun. And yeah, there'll be a new project coming soon. And I'll probably do a post-mortem of this game in the next few weeks once I have some analytics from how it did on itch. So yeah. Thank you everyone and bye.
Ah, 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 ah,